What's up internet, John here from NextGen. You guys asked for a comparison of all the different analog devices and some standard clipping diodes, so here it is. Uh, this is the schematic of this distortion pedal kit. This is the clipping section, uh, the clipping diodes. I think they're 914s. Nine, nine uh, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to take that out. This is, there's going to be a jumper across here. And uh, then we'll have a four-way dip switch, essentially, which will switch between the diode clipping section and the three different versions of the Nanolog devices. So we'll be able to switch between all three and get a really accurate comparison, especially since um, it's the rest of the circuit is identical so there's no variability in terms of any kind of other components that might be off spec or anything like that it'll be exactly the same circuit the only thing changing is the clipping diodes so we'll hear a really good comparison between all three four i guess if you consider the clipping diodes versus the nanolog devices so let's check it out I think I'm done. So I've got the N1, 2, 3, and clipping diodes on 1, 2, 3, then 4. Uh, there'll be a common input, and then we'll switch on whichever diode or clipping section we want. And then this is the common output line that'll run back to the board inside the pedal. So let's test it out. Dry. Dry. <laughs> Thank you. 
The differences in this sort of stuff can easily be missed on a casual listen, so we definitely recommend comparing in a proper listening environment with some critical listening tools like professional headphones or studio monitors. Take note of the subtle changes in dynamic range, the character of the upper harmonics, and all the other little things that make for a tastefully saturated sound. Big shout out to Robbie for his part of the demo. For the comparison, I pretty much just threw my guitar at him and said go. He did a pretty good job on such short notice. For the intro song, he actually took the pedal and breadboard home and put that together in his studio, played all the instruments himself, including miking up real drums, then brought in a quick mix for us to use in the video. Check out his solo project, Outpoint, and his band, Waistline, like the waist your belt sits on. They just got out of the studio and are putting the finishing touches on some new tracks coming out in the next month or so, so we'll link to both in the video description. Leave a comment below to let us know your thoughts on what you heard and whether you'd like to see more videos like this. Subscribe to our channel. We release videos every... whenever we have the time to make a video. This is John from NextGen. Have a good one.